Hello and welcome to The Tech Beat. I'm James Preston, your tech guide, helping you to navigate the bits and bytes of the World Wide Web and the innovations that abound. In this week's show, your friendly face could net you 200 k and stock markets and the coral reef are forming an unlikely connection. So let's begin our download on The Tech Beat. A tech company is due to launch a new line of human-looking robots, but they want them to have a friendly demeanour, which means they won't be looking to utilise my face after I've discovered that my Shiba Inu has plummeted once again. But if you do happen to have a friendly and inviting face, hello Zoe Deschanel, then you could be making bank, because Promobot is offering to pay $200,000 for the perfect someone to hand over the rights to their features. Per the Promobot website, they're on the lookout for a kind and friendly appearance and are open to applications from all people of all ethnicities and genders. The one catch is that you need to be over 25 years of age. So what happens if you do indeed happen to be selected? Well, a 3D model of your face and body is taken to be used for the robot's external features. You'll then also need to dictate at least 100 hours of special material to copy your voice. Yeah, perhaps just read the fine print, it's not just your face that they actually want. Now this will be used for the machine to communicate with other people. You'll then also be required to sign a license agreement, which allows the use of your appearance for an unlimited period of time. So if we do happen to have our own version of Skynet, you could well and truly see yours truly slaying humans 200 years into the future with a ray gun. And honestly, that sounds kind of cool. Just call me James Schwarzenegger. I am pretty much the T-800. Moving right along, and a group of scientists working to save corals worldwide have applied Modern Portfolio Theory, or MPT, a Nobel Prize winning mathematical framework developed by the economist Harry Markowitz in the 1950s to help risk-averse investors maximise their returns according to The Guardian. In a study published in Conservation Letters, a journal of the Society for Conservation Biology, researchers at Australia's University of Queensland write, although many factors are implicated, climate change has emerged as a dominant and rapidly growing threat to coral reefs. Adding that developing a long-term strategic plan for the conservation of coral reefs is urgently needed, yet is complicated by significant uncertainty associated with climate change impacts on coral reef ecosystems. They go on to say that they have taken Markowitz's theory and applied it to the coral reefs worldwide to identify coral reef locations globally that, in the absence of other impacts, are likely to have a heightened chance of surviving projected climate changes relative to other reefs. Now, according to a recent report by the Global Coral Reef Monitoring Network, large-scale coral bleaching events are the greatest disturbance to the world's coral reefs. The report also notes that 1998's mass bleaching event alone killed 8% of the world's coral, with subsequent disturbance events occurring between 2009 and 2018 killing a further 14% of the world's coral. Now, the Coral Reef Alliance especially highlights the loss of 14% of the world's coral in a decade, and according to Madhavi Colton, Coral's executive director, this is likely a conservative measurement. Scientists decided to use the modern portfolio theory after a meeting at the Hawaii Institute of Marine Biology in 2017 to pick a, quote, balanced portfolio of coral reefs. So hopefully we can see the tide turning quite soon. And that's it for this short and sweet edition of the Tech Beat between your market forcing turning the tide with coral reefs and the chance to outlast humanity as a robot. I hope you've learned something valuable. Until next time, remember to keep your head in the iCloud and take a gigabyte out alive.